And I believe there will come a time in this new century when men will be able to fly to the moon and many distant planets using rocket-propelled ships. You really believe all this, Wells? Why, if I only had a time machine, I would show you. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, no, really. I propose that in the next hundred years, man will be able to travel faster than sound. All this lies ahead in our frightening yet exciting future. Do you think Argos will ever do home delivery on Sundays? <laughs> what? Nothing. I, ju I just thought it'd be good if they did. What are you talking about? Well, I just thought it makes sense to deliver on a Sunday when most people are home anyway. No, know? no. What is Argos? <laughs> well, I was just thinking, in the future, they might have this kind of big store where you could get anything you want from a clock radio to a Pifco foot spa, <laughs> all under one roof. And they might call it something like Argos or something. You know? I mean, I'm just riffing here, really, you know. Riffing? Clock radio. Pifco foot spa. Yeah, I mean, it's, it stands to reason, you know, just, just extrapolating into the future. All right, fine, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, Wells, I see the War of the Worlds is now in its tenth edition. Ah, yes, perhaps my finest work of speculative fiction. <laughs> you don't believe all that rot about Martians and tripods, though. Indeed, I do. Beings from Mars could easily come to Earth and lay waste to our civilization. Ah, piffle! They would crush us like insects spilling their deadly red weed as they went, choking our rivers, blocking our canals, and poisoning our fields with foul pestilences. Yeah, you could do a record of that with David Essex in it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the blazes is David Essex? <laughs> well, it's just a theory, really, but I was just thinking, they might want to make a film all about the early days of rock and roll in the 70s, you know. <laughs> and to play the lead, they'll get this complete unknown called David Essex, who ironically becomes an actual rock star. But then when the hits dry up, Jeff Wayne will step in and ask him to be one of the voices in a pomp rock musical version of your novel. <laughs> anyway, um... <coughs> The narrator of my novel, Richard Burton, Richard Burton, turns to Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues and says, God damn! You've got me in it now! Completely lost my train of thought! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I can't talk now. No, no, no. I'm in the past. 